Good afternoon friends, so my name is Navin Kumar, I am a faculty of classic KS I study circle Darwar. So today we are discussing about the CSAT paper, right? that is civil service aptitude test of 2019 paper here. Friends on 10th October there is an examination of uh, civil service that is UPSC. So those who are writing uh, this examination, okay, this paper will be helpful for the revision for 2 or the paper 2 that is one. So in this CSAT paper, this is an eligibility paper right? to qualifying the first paper. So, let me see here what are the criteria of this paper. So, number of 80 questions, there are 80 questions are there, then marks is 200 marks. Then per question carries 2.5 marks friends. Then if it the wrong answer means if you marked the wrong answer, then the penalty of the marks is one third. There are the three sections, the reasoning, quants and English. Then every section there is a some particular some questions, right? That is one third, one third and one third questions. So, let me see in the paper of 2019 okay so we are going to discuss the reasoning part and the cons part the how to solve and how to we get the marks of in this qualifying marks of this csat paper right the eligibility criteria of the csat is a 33% means that is an 66 marks right friends so first before writing the examination you should follow the one strategy you have to make the mindset of the one strategy there are three sections are there uh, we are attending the three sections we have to get the passing marks first thing so that is passing marks is the 33 percent 66 marks if you qualify 66 percent means means 66 marks means uh, so you are eligible for the paper one means eligible means if you pass this paper then it is going to check the first paper okay friends so let me see the question here, how the question will become in your examination, those who are writing the first time, it's okay. it will be helpful how the question will be appear and the toughness of the questions, right. Let me see the first question friends here. <coughs> the number of times the digit 5 will appear while writing the integers from 1 to 1000. Friends from 1 to 1000 means, uh, let me see here, from 1 to 1000, how many times the 5 will be repeated, okay. So, the question is like that, there are the options here given 269, 271, 300, then 302. Let me see here, how to solve this type of questions here, okay. In the part, the continuity part of this one, the frequency of occurrence of the digit 5 in the different series of numbers are as follows. For example, here from 1 to 10, this is one time, 1 5 is there, right. From 11 to 20, again one time, 21 to 30, same one time here, so same 31 to 40, then 41 to 50, it will come that two times, that is 45, 1 5 will come, then again last one the 50, then 51 to 60, that is 10 times, same as, as it is as follows here, 91 to 100. So, total times of 5 repeated in from one session from 1 to 100, that is 20. Okay. So, 20 means in from 1 to 1000 means that is 20 into 10. So, that is a 200 times. But friends, on the occurrence of a 100th place of 500 to 600. Okay. So, there are from 500 to 600, there is a 100 times. Again, 5 will be repeats. So, 200 plus then 100 that is a 300 times the 5 will be repeated okay the 5 digit means so let me see the option here the answer is 300 c the option number is c that is 300 right friends okay we'll move for the next question now okay consider the following statement and the conclusions okay the statements and conclusions you all know that the how to solve this uh, type of questions we already discussed in the class right friends so let me see here first we will go through the statements before that i'll tell the some of the basic things how to solve the syllogisms or syllogs we call as short forms or also called as venn diagrams right so when they ask the, in the statements some some there is a noise there if they ask all some no so you get to know that if they ask all means we have to draw like this all a r b okay this is a particular way of drawing the diagram of venn diagrams then if they ask sum for example so this is a sum diagram this is a sum part if there is a say no then particularly it's a no relation of between 
this two on the health account right from A and B am I right friends. So, here it is we will solve the problem here some rats are cats let me see here some rats are cats then second point is some cats are dogs some cats are dogs no dog is a cow no dog is a cow right here it is first but some possibilities are there here possibility will come how it is some rats are cats some cats are dogs no dog is a cow cow go matte dog go relation illa anta helthi adar friends hagan mele illa nod kodri cow na amel na discuss maada anta first nodri dog cat ig matra relation idhe rat ig kuda aag bahudu that is called a possibility here so we will take possibility rat cat eradu correlation irta kanta do when there is a possibility only we have to give the some relation not all possibility so dog no cow is a dog the cow might be cat or as rat means here it is comes cow so now let me check the conclusions here both the side the answer will come right means the option is that option is a right answer if one side right and one side wrong means that option is a wrong we consider as so 50 50 bandhi there so right ag bodha no that is no eradu kada right bandhi maathra no right anthil chitavi let me check here first point here in the conclusion no cow is a cat no cow is a cat anthil chitavi yes in the first diagram that is right in the possibility diagram that is wrong why because some cats are cows some cows are cats here no dog is a rat no dog is a rat that is right here here some dogs are rats that is wrong then last conclusion some cats are rats some cats are rats that is right here is also some cats are rats so option number three is a right one okay so your answer is c only three is a right answer friends okay fine we will move for the next question now right friends so here it is when a runner was crossing the 12 kilometer mark she has she was informed that she has completed only 80 percent means the race is total of 100 percent means she has covered only 80 percent of race full stop how many kilometers was the runner supposed to run in this event at the head to the so let me check here so 12 kilometers and 30 crossing of 12 kilometer mark she was complete she was informed to that she has completed only 80 percent means friends first we know the length of the race okay so we'll take it here let the length of race here so let the length of race be x kilometers right friends now 80 percent have they have given means so we have to write down here 80 percent means here it is 80 percent of x equal to 12 right friends then we should complete the race of 100 percent means so i have to 80 percent they have again means for example here we have to taking as 80 divided by 100 into x equal to 12 right friends when it is reversed okay i am converting into x equal to 12 into 100 divided by 80 right friends so it is an exact of calculations Okay, so 120 by divided by 80 means that is a x equal to 15 kilometers. Then option number B is a right answer. Okay, friends, it's a nothing. Just a basic calculation is there. So you get to know that. Okay, how to apply this type of questions and how to solve means. Okay, let me we go for the next question now. Okay, Rakesh and Rajesh together bought 10 balls and 10 rackets. Rakesh spent rupees 1300 and the Rajesh spent rupees 1500. Each if each racket cost three times of ball. Just friends, you have to highlight this one. The rupees of 1300, then as well as a here it is 1500. Then the balls are 10 balls. Then here it is 10 rackets. Okay, one ball cost. We are first we will get to know that what is the cost of one ball then we will find out the racket cost the, the racket cost is a uh, three times of the one ball cost okay three times of the ball cost means we get to know here first we will take it here for example we will find out the first uh, the cost of a uh, ball here cost of ball rupees 
x then cost of racket of rupees 3x why i am taken 3x is here three times of a ball they are told means so that is a 3x then here it is that is an here it is rupees x and the three time of x on the head to the so okay let me see here i'll rub it this one okay right now i'll come to the problem directly here 10 x plus 10 okay into here comes 3 x is equal to 1300 rupees plus 1500 okay 10 x 10 into 3 that is 30 okay is equal to 2800 okay here comes the 40 x means 2800 divided by 40 okay here comes the 0 0 is cancelled then 4 and 4 7 ja. so now the x value of is 70 okay do not think that the answer is a 70 friends why because in the options they are given already 70 here okay if you think that is a 70 if you mark means you will get the penalty of marks okay why because we are finding the so this one is a not a racket cost this is the cost of a ball one ball they have said the racket price is three times of a ball cost means 70 into 3 so answer is 210 so option number c c is the right answer friends okay fine let me go for the next question now okay we will solve the next one right friends so <coughs> in the conference out of the total 100 participants comma 70 are indians if 60 of the total participants are vegetarian then which of the following statement is are correct on the head there so here it is at least 30 indians participants are vegetarian in the case one in the case two at least 10 indian participants are non vegetarians okay friends so i'll move for the next page now okay i do have a question here by reading the question i'll solve the problem here see in the conference out of the total 100 participants so 70 are indians if a 60 of the total participants are vegetarian then which of the following statement is are correct okay at least 30 indian participants are vegetarian okay there is a case one here first we will get to know that uh, total number of participants is 100 in that uh, indians 70 then as well as the uh, total vegetarian are 60 right friends then we will go to the case one here okay what they said in the case one at least 30 indian participants are vegetarians right friends so 30 indian participants are vegetarian means uh, out of 100 participants uh, 70 are in indians right so 70 are indians means uh, we'll take as 100 minus 70 remaining are 30 30 are non indians they don't think they are non vegetarians so there these are non indians why because the total members are 100 in the indians are 70 the total vegetarians are the 60 means uh, 70 the remaining 30 are the non indians means here it is a 60 percent vegetarian means uh, here is 60 minus uh, 30 non indians means remaining are uh, 30 percent are vegetarians indians are vegetarians right so that is a first case here okay 30 percent vegetarians are indians and the head come to the case number 2 here friends we will come to the case number 2 out of 100 participants 60 are vegetarian okay let me see here case 2 out of 100 participants 60 are vegetarians okay so 100 minus 60 that is in a 40 right 40 percent left here means 30 are non indians and the head you know right so in case here 30 are non indians at the head daga, right then 40 minus 30 non indians friends means uh, remaining indians are left here 10 percent okay the case 2 is telling that at least 10 indian participants are non vegetarians okay so this is a 10 indians non vegetarians right friends so the question here it is 
at least 30 percent Indian participants are vegetarians that is true and uh, at least 10 Indian participants are non vegetarians. So, that is also correct right. So, both answer 1 and 2 both are correct here then option number C right friends ok. We will move for the next question now ok. A uh, 5 store building with the floors of 1 to 5 is painted using 4 different colors and only one color is used to paint a, a floor ok. There are 5 floors friends ok. Then the color of paints are only 4 right. Then 5 floors is there and one the other on the third floor is same paint and aakta kanta do. Inna three floors same mar bo dantan do. Different different colors na yero paint mar ta kanta dantan chetara. Let me see here. Considering the following the statements, we'll check the statements here. The middle three floors are painted in the different colors. Okay, middle three floors are colors in the different colors. For example, here I write it down here. One, two, three, four, five. For example, five floors, right? Okay, five store building with a just I have written just for an example ok as per the uh, problematic if you write means we will take systematically the floor number 1 is come here then this 2, 3, 4 then 5 like this ok. To get to know that the middle 3 floors painted in the different colors middle 3 means this 3 ok painted in the different colors in any kind of different colors sir, they have not mentioned the particular particular the colors here ok any kind of colors then that is ok then second one is <coughs> the second and the fourth floors are painted in the different colors second and fourth color is painted with the different colors yes these are different colors and different colors and this is also in the different color ok. Let me see the last point here that is third one the first and the fifth floors are painted red means the first floor and the fifth floor painted uh, the same color that is a uh, red color right friends. So, 1 different different colors 2 3 and this one is a different color ok total 4 colors to ensure that any 2 consecutive floors have different colors ok friends. So, now we are seeing the options here right yes only statement 2 is sufficient to answer ok only statement 2 that the statement 2 is uh, the second and the fourth floors are painted with a different colors and third other no we cannot uh, say which colors are which particular things and third other then the only statement 3 is sufficient only th statement 3 is sufficient and then the statement 3 is uh, the first and the fifth floors are painted red yes the first and the fifth floor painted in uh, the red and third in this that is a single color out of 4 right statement 1 is not sufficient but the statement 1 along with the statement 2 is sufficient no then statement 3 is not sufficient but the statement 3 along with the statement 2 is sufficient we cannot say why because 4 colors are there then 5 floors the 2 floors the same colors and remaining 3 floors are different colors ok. In different colors we do not know which floor is in which color only they have mentioned the red color for 1 and 5th floor. So, the answer is only statement 3 is uh, sufficient to answer ok. Yes friends we will move for the next question now. Fine. So, the question number 7 is P, Q and R are the 3 towns the distance between P and Q is 60 kilometer whereas the distance between P and R is 80 kilometers full stop. Q is in the west of P, Q is in the west of P that is 60 kilometers and R is in the south of P, R is in the south of P. R is in the south of P that is 80 kilometers before only they have mentioned here P is 60 kilometer sorry P and Q is 60 kilometer R 80 kilometers right P and Q ok 80 kilometers. So, what is the now question is what is the distance between Q and R ok now we are finding this Q and R distance we know that the distance of Q and P is 60 P and R is 80 now we are going to find out the Q and R for example this is a we have to apply the Pythagoras formula here right. So, Q P square plus P R square ok 60 square plus 80 square then square root of here it is 3600 plus 6400 then it is 10000 the square root of 10000 is a 
100 right so your answer is 100 kilometers option number d friends okay right we'll move for the next question now <coughs> all members of the club went to mumbai and stay in the hotel on the first day 80% went for the shopping and 50% went for sightseeing whereas 10% took rest in the hotel which of the following conclusions can be drawn from the above data from the above data okay so here it is first one here the conclusion number one they have given here first find out the I'm sorry uh, you have to see the question here which of the following conclusion can be drawn okay from the above data okay let us see here that is question number eight okay question number eight here it is first one 40 percent members went for shopping as well as a uh, sightseeing okay so we have to get to know that this is correct or wrong okay we'll have to check this one 40 percent why because then 20 percent members in the second conclusion 20 20 members 20 percent of members went for only shopping okay given 80 percent on the first day 80 percent went for shopping and the 50 percent went for sightseeing whereas 10 percent took rest in the hotel okay. let me see by drawing a Venn diagram here okay right so here comes shopping right 80 percent then here sightseeing that is a 50 percent right friends then they are telling that uh, first conclusion then 10 percent are taking the rest okay fine so we have to mention this 80 and 50 okay for example 80 plus 50 is 130 okay the mentioning here what they have said 40 percent members went for shopping as well as a uh, sightseeing for example we will take like this 40 then 40 then it is 10 okay okay fine so first we get to know that total number of uh, members that is 100 members are there right then here it is members who take the rest that is 10 percent means the minus 90 right friends okay so when we take the 30 130 80 plus 50 that is 130 minus 90 that is remaining is a 40 okay let me check here first one conclusion 40 members went for shopping as well as sightseeing see this 40 40 members went for shopping it comes in shopping also and also in the sightseeing okay so first one is a true case second one 20 percent members went for only shopping we can't judge that on only 20 percent only that is a wrong one so answer we'll come back and see the question here yes only one is a true okay yes we'll move for the next question now right then question number nine in a school 60 percent students play cricket and uh, cricket will stop a student who does not play cricket plays football 60% right. students play cricket here then a student who does not play cricket plays football every football player has got a two wheeler right every football player has got a two wheeler which of the following conclusions cannot be drawn from the above data so please mention this one cannot be drawn okay they didn't ask uh, be drawn conclusion can be drawn cannot be drawn they are saying like it means first we'll check the options here the first option is 60% of the students do not have two wheelers we can't say friends why because they are not given the proper information 60 percent of students play cricket that's it only they didn't tell about the two wheelers okay they only said the two wheelers about the football players so the it cannot be drawn this one first option no cricketers have two wheelers no they didn't mention that one also right 60 percent of students play cricket that the students who does not play cricket they play football that is the right here right but the cricket no cricketer has two wheeler that is also we can't judge that one that is also cannot be drawn here cricket players do not play football okay 
it might be or those who are interested they can be play or else no okay this is also cannot be drawn in this particular thing so the option is select the correct answer using the code of given below so that is a option number d 1 2 and 3 cannot be drawn from the above data right friends that is option number 4 is the right answer so let me check here so very interesting question 10th question here anna was born 4 years after her parents marriage her mother is 3 years 3 years younger than her father and 24 years older than anna okay who is 13 year old okay who is 13 year old this anna is a 13 year old now that at what age did anna's father get married right friends so we are finding here the age of uh, anna's father when the, he got married right so let me see after the after 4 years of marriage then her parents her mother sorry uh, anna was born yes friends anna was born 4 years after her parents and parents marriage and here it is 24 minus 4 okay why because i have taken 24 years? see here right and 24 year older than anna Okay, 24 years then older than Anna means, uh, now it is 24 means, uh, 4 years, uh, right? Now, we will before and 24 minus 4, that is uh, 20 years. When her mother get married, then the age of her mother is 20 years, right? Then they said her mother is 3 years, 3 years younger than her father, right? 3 years younger than her father, then Anna who is 13 year old, at what age did Anna's father get married? Now, her mother is 20, 3 years younger means uh, her father means 20 plus 3. That is her father's age is 23 years, her mother's age is uh, 20. What is her father's age and means get married at uh, father's get married means that is 23 years of age. Okay. Ippat moor OSC again, Tantantaga, her father do marriage agirta. Right, friends? So, option number B is a right answer. Let me go for the next question now. Yes. The average marks of 100 students are given to be 40. It was found later than marks of the one of the students were 53, which were misreaded as 83. The corrected mean, right? The corrected mean marks, mean marks are, okay? The, then that is a question number 11, friends. Yes. Total number of students, that is, total number of students is? 100 are given to be 40 means that is a 4000 right then it was found later that marks of the one student were 53 where which were misread as 83 so we less misread means 83 minus plus it is a correct 53 okay so 4000 minus 83 plus 53 so we are getting as a 3970 Okay, so exact of 3970, then how many students here? 100 students divided by 100. So the cancellation, right? Here it is 39.7. The exact answer is B. 39.7 is a right answer. Okay, friends, let me go for the next question now. If every alternative letter of the English alphabet from B onwards, including B, they say, B onwards, then including B is written in the lower case, small letters and the remaining letters are capitalized. Then how is the first month of the second half of the year? First month of the second half of the year means uh, from January to June. It's a first half, second half, July to December. So second half, the uh, July to December, second half of the first month means, uh, see the first month of the second half, that is July. But it should be in the particular what the order they had said. So let me check here. Okay, they have given English alphabets alphabetical on B onwards, including B. So here it is A, right? That is B. Then C capital, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. R, S, T, U, V, W, 
x y z okay now one capital letter then one small letter has per the condition they have told here let me check the year then how is the first month of the second half of the year written so july is a first month of the second half that is j in the small letter july right j u is in the capital letter then l in the small letter then y is in the capital check the options here first j is a small j u capital small no j u no yes the last option is small j is a small letter second u is a capital letter then i sorry l is a small letter then y is a capital letter okay the option number d is a right option right friends so this type of we have to solve in the examination at we have to write this one they have not given this there okay in the particular in your exam sheet or means in your question paper okay we have to note down and we have to find out right friends let me go for the next question now in the sequence 1573574357 how many such phi's are there now they are asking about the phi's we will mark the phi here 1 as well as 2 3 are there which are not immediately preceded by 3 for example 5 3 immediately preceded by 3 means behind immediately 3 irbardu anta helta idar friends then but are immediately followed by 7 immediately followed by mundgade 7 okay preceded by then followed by anta heldaga it's a 7 3 irbardu 3 bit bere yavde number irli anta heltidare let me check here okay 5 1 5 7 yes it's a one group here it is 5 3 immediately preceded by 3 irbardu anta heltidare 7 ide but idu 3 irodrinda barala again idu kuda aagta illa so only one pair that is answer 1 right friends okay let me see the next question now a joint family consists of seven members a b c d e f and g with the three females g is a widow and a sister of uh, d's father f b and d are the siblings and a is the daughter of b c is a cousin of b right then now they have given some of the questions here who is e the we have to find out who is e wife of f aunt of c grandmother of a which option will be a right option so i will draw the diagram here yes here it is i do have the question okay so i'll read the question here friends a joint family consists of seven members a b c d e f and g g is a widow and the sister in law of d's father f g is a sister in law of d's father f right is a widow okay next b and d are d is father we don't know the gender of d plus or minus it may be son or maybe daughter b and d are siblings siblings so plus or minus brothers brothers or sisters sisters brother or sister sister or brother like that we don't know the proper gender here they didn't mention their siblings and a is a daughter of b a is a daughter means they have given a female there daughter means a three daughters uh, sorry three females are there we got g is a one uh, one female then a is a one more female we have to find out one more female here c is a cousin of b c is a cousin okay plus or minus then one candidate left here who is a e they are asking who means uh, already he, 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 he is the father f is a father of d means uh, then e is a mother both are husband and wife the okay, three females that is g e a three females okay so let me check the question here first one who is e wife of f e is a wife of f that is the right one second one let me see here wife of f okay wife of f then second one grandmother of a grandmother of a yes e is a grandmother of a why because d and b are the kids of f and e so a is a daughter of b so that is also right then aunt of c then aunt of c means uh, right c is a cousin of b means uh, d and b are the kids of uh, f and e then c cousin means uh, e is a uh, aunt of c okay then three options are correct here let me check the question in the options select the select the correct answer using the code given below that is 1 2 and 
Yes, option number D is the correct answer. Fine, friends. We will move for the next question now. Yes, it is a uh, mathematical operation question here. So, 10 ash means minus 5, at means multiplication 1, dollar means divided by 5. We have to apply the Bodmas rule here. First uh, bracket is there is no bracket means we go to the off that is multiply. There is no off means we start with the division, then multiplication, then addition, then subtraction. There is no addition here. So, they are given like this. We have to convert into 10 minus 5 into 1 divided by 5. So, 5 and 5, 1 1 to 1 that is 1. So, 10 minus 1 it is 9. The option is D. Right, friends? Okay. So, remaining. Uh, up to we solved here in the last question that is 15th okay so remaining uh, will be continue in the part 2 right so remaining questions will be continued right thank you friends